I'm always at peace because I know I don't truly control anything. I'm here as a witness and to experience. The original commandments were to be fruitful and multiply. There was no other responsibilities placed on us originally. This earth was a gift given to us to enjoy, to live in, to minister to us, to protect us, feed us, clothe us, keep us warm. It was a realm for us to enjoy our creator. It was us who complicated the situation. Nothing needed to be improved upon. We simply needed to be. And now as we're being called to go back to where the commandments are only to be fruitful and multiply, we're stuck holding on to the rules of the punishment. It wasn't enough for us to be trusted to just do the right thing. We needed guidelines complete with consequences to keep us in line, which is why after a while he said he didn't want our sacrifices or anything because we perverted it. We just started slaughtering animals. This creation was here for us, but they should have been enjoying it with us. It was supposed to be a tough act to sacrifice an animal. After a while, we got desensitized to it and just started doing it, sinning and just saying, hey, this animal will pay for it just doing whatever we wanted to do. So when he ended that, that's why he said, man, y'all not getting the point. Y'all not getting the picture. I don't need you all to do all any of that. I just need you to stop. I just need you to do better. I just need you to listen. I don't need you to apologize. I don't need your promises on, that you're going to do better in the future. I don't need you to tell me the 12-step plan that you have to do better however you do it just do better and that's all he's ever wanted that's what all the laws are about that's what any of the trials and tribulations we go through is about just showing us that we should do better innately there shouldn't be consequences looming for us to live upright or for us to even live moderately we have to take everything to an extreme. Taken into an extreme, they become perverted. And that's why all the stuff that we see around us isn't bad, it isn't evil, it isn't wicked. But the perversion of it is. And we are living in a constant perversion. 